PlayStation this week. Okay, sure. And it's also like me talk about PlayStation this week. Why? Mm-hmm. Not because he has more followers, but why is he more inclined? Why is people more inclined to go to him than me? Am I boring, or is he interesting? Or I, that is some dangerous territory to fall into when when you're doing content creation. That comparison with other content creators. I used to. I mean, that happens to all of us. Like we make something. Like why did yeah. Markiplier? Get a million subscribers. See, I got to count on it because I think I always say this. If yeah. we went travel back in time and we did the exact same thing we're doing now. Ten years ago? We'd be Markiplier level right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Fact. I'm so fucking For, So with him and PewDiePie, they the only reason they're big because they did it back then. Mm-hmm. They were, they're, well, they're ahead of there's, the time. There's two things there. They did it back then and then they were able to adapt as they went along. As Some people along. pop off because they were ahead of the curve, but then they can't stay above the water and then they burn out. Kind of like um, if you look at Rooster Teeth now, yeah, or like or, Rooster Teeth exploded because they were so ahead of doing the machinima stuff. Or C Nanners and C Nanners, he just came back, came back. Yeah, I'm gonna be stopped back. and just came back. But this, yeah. but the stuff like that doesn't. If you don't constantly know how to adapt to like what's new and everything, you're you won't last for you. May, maybe if you explode like that and you make a huge thing, it's there's like a lot of fifteen, ten years big max. channels back then that was big like. Markiplier level, but it is dead now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there, there's a, there's an interesting thing that happens. It's, it's what Crockett said, and we're like, they kind of have to adapt with what's going on in the YouTube space, like the way that the algorithm changed, the way that the thumbnail presentation has changed, all of that. You, you do have to adapt to that. But there is also something that happens when you're like PewDiePie, like when you pioneered an entire genre of videos on YouTube, it takes less for you to adapt because people are going to come look for you for that specific type of content. And you've already got such a massive base that it's really hard for you to lose enough traction that you're suddenly not making money off of YouTube. When you're PewDiePie, when you're Markiplier yeah. level. Markiplier happened to be one of those content creators that like started off doing Let's Play content and like found a really good niche doing like live action content. Yeah, live action. And he, he adapted Twitch? really well. Markiplier, I don't think he's on, I don't know, I don't think he's on Twitch. He just used the course live He reactions. just uses YouTube and like gotcha. plays and Let's Plays. But Markiplier is one of those YouTubers that adapted extremely well, but also never lost the core thing that made a Markiplier in the first place. He's not toxic either. He's a genuine He's guy. just a genuinely <laughs> sweet yeah, Korean yeah. dude. Um, and so like it is, a, you do have to adapt to content creation and you do have, but also the, the fact of like the fact that we're entering the market now is probably the biggest obstacle because yeah. it's so saturated. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's hard to like, stand out. It's overly saturated. Yeah. I say this all the time. It's like you start off at the bottom to this, this see a content and you, it's very hard to cl- kind of float your way up yeah. to the top of it. Well, I also did because it's like, I remember when I was. Um, I think I was doing the process of bringing Junkie Show back, but I was doing my YouTube channel, the 2020 taping and stuff, whatever. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, I was, like, I was kind of salty in yeah. a minute because it was like, you know, I'm making content, but, you know, YouTube has this way, its algorithm. It, it, I, I swear, I could be fucking wrong. You can fucking fact check me, but YouTube doesn't treat the small content creators well at all. None of those platforms do. No, it doesn't. None like, of the big platforms do. When you click on YouTube, the first thing you see was either you know Markiplier, mm-hmm. Jimmy Fallon, or any other fucking people. Will Smith. Will Smith. Like, um, you know, like and like I, I, so I made like a funny video.